We're at the world famous Hotel Palo Rocco in Brighton for a behind the scenes look at a boudoir photo shoot. We're going to be getting some tips and tricks from a pro boudoir photographer on how to improve your photography. If I'm looking for a place to do boudoir with my clients, I um, tend to look for somewhere that offers me more than just a whitewash room with, with white linen. I, I try and go for themed hotels because it gives me ideas, it makes the client feel more at home in that boudoir setting. The first thing I'll, I'll look at, even before my lady comes in, would be to declutter the room. Kettles, cups, TVs. Okay, so if I'm working with somebody that's not um, that experienced. I would normally start them off in a dressing gown, something sexy but covered up so they don't feel too exposed to start with. We can build up to that. I'd probably bring props into play which are really really good and they help to take the emphasis off being photographed. It's really good to get the, a, a picture in your mind about what you're going to do with the model. There are certain techniques or poses that work for me and I will go to those and I will get those in the bag because I know that those shots are going to work. I also like to be a little bit adventurous and um, you know, perhaps try something new. If your model um, is more experienced, she's likely to move around and show you different poses herself, which will give you more ideas. Less experienced models will expect you to direct them more. Either have a Pinterest board to hand on your phone or a little swatch book of uh, poses just to remind yourself of, of another good pose to do. You'd really want to pose them in the most flattering way possible according to their body shape. You can sort of cover up areas which is a, a really good technique. You, could, you know, place a cushion in front of a lady's belly, particularly ladies they don't like their tummies. I would favour primes definitely um, because they're going to give me a much more creative look like an 85mm or a 50mm or my 2470s. I want to get a full length shot and for that one I'll sit on the floor and get down really low because it's going to make my model's legs look really lovely and long. On the lighting front I would probably tend to favour um, constant lighting like the Rotolite range. I can adjust the lighting before I even um, take the shot. Another technique that I would definitely recommend is um, just to be a bit open to the environment not be too stuck in what you're going to shoot and how you're going to shoot it. 